Object automation is object-based rather than track-based and is applied to individual audio objects. You can automate the same effects and parameters as you can with track automation, but on the object level. If you're used to using a different door, you may be more familiar with the terms clip, item or region. To use object automation, select an audio object, then double click to open the object editor or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus O. Make sure the Show box is ticked. Doing this will hide any existing track automation and only object automation will be visible. I'm going to click on the first plugin slot and select Modulation Special EFX Chorus Flanger. If I open the automation menu, the EFX Chorus Flanger is now showing in the list. So I'm choosing 7 Depth from the parameter menu. The name of the effect should now be shown in the effect field and the active parameter in the field below. Click on the pencil icon to activate automation draw mode. The relevant curve for that parameter will now be overlaid on just that audio object. I'm now using the pencil to draw in an automation envelope for that parameter. Notice that when I start playback, the chorus flanger automation only occurs when playback passes over that object. If you want to automate another parameter, choose it from the list and the curve for that parameter will be selected. If you want to edit the original curve, just click on it and it will become selected. Alternatively, just click on the parameter field and select it from the top of the list. Doing this will select the corresponding curve for that object. Notice that when a curve is selected, the relevant parameter is displayed in the parameter field. When you finish drawing in your automation, make sure you remember to deselect the pencil tool to return to your usual mouse mode. Because this automation is specifically object based, you can move or copy objects anywhere in the VIP and the automation curves are retained along with any other object settings. You can even save individual objects. To do this, go to the menu item File Save Object. You can then load the saved object into the existing project or to another project. To do this, go to the menu item File Open Object. The object has now been loaded into the project, complete with plugin and automation. So essentially, objects are self contained. 